Hello guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today it's one of those videos again where a footballer in the last couple of weeks and months has been caught up in something which is just not what you want to hear whatsoever and this is one of them again which is really f***ing serious here and this should be treated with the most as it can get really and the one thing that I do want to say here is that I will be saying no footballers names in this because I kind of feel like there's no need um, there's a lot of speculation and even by saying that oh I think it could be this guy oh I think it could be that guy is very dangerous so I do feel like Anyone that's online saying it could be this guy, it could be that guy, you know, like maybe if like if like a normal person, like you guys watching, you know, to your mates, you guys could probably you know try to debate it. But like for me, I can't talk about. It. But what I would say is that I don't think it's set in stone because the main key word is North London. I don't think that means that it's a player for the two teams in North London that we're thinking of. I, I think it just means that they were in North Lo they, that they were in North London. I don't know if that confirms anything whatsoever that it is after those two teams. So that's what I think is really important to say here. So I will go into all the information that we do have and when we are expected to see more information about this. And um, yeah, man, like it's just it's just sh like it's just another time that we can talk about footballers in terms of like is this. I think where like it is, is it a case of it's happening more or it's been reported more? Because like it feels like it's just n relentless, you know, within the last two years or more. So there's just non-stop news about footballers doing just a heinous shit. But at the same time, maybe this has always been happening behind the scenes. You know, when you give footballers who earns a lot of money and they have a lot of power because of that, because of, the, of who they are and their occupation and they become very um, appealing for a lot of people, especially if they're a younger player, which in this case is not a younger player. Is this what happens to footballers when they become almost like power hungry almost, that like they just become monsters? Um, there's a debate to be have there in terms of like, the only way that we can really counter out this is really with education. Education at a young age, that like when young footballers are like, you know, they are learning their trade and learning to become footballers, but also learning to become good people, good men. And hopefully that, you know, one, while they are in these academies, that they should also have their education alongside with that. I'm not saying all footballers, this is of course like a very small amount here. It just feels like it's a lot more in the last, um, year or so compared to what we had previously you know it feels like there's a lot more news coverage and a lot more um people coming out and saying that you're know, saying these things so that's just kind of where i stand right now so of course i will not be saying any footballers names because i feel like you know there is no names so until like we kind of really know who it is and i think that we probably will know over the next two weeks because players will have to be at pre-season training apparently this player is currently arrested maybe he will be out in bail but i think you know in like two weeks time we'll we'll realize who is no longer you know in the team and yeah let's get into kind of like the actual details of this so the first article yesterday was published by the telegraph now the reason i'm not on the website is because you've got to like pay for it so uh, that's why i'm not on the website right now so I do apologize but yeah and um, premier league footballer arrested on suspicion of rape um i can't say the word because i would actually get my channel um, demonetized or like I get like a strike on it because like you just can't say the word nowadays which is a heinous word of course so yeah that's why I'm saying R.A.P.E. so there you go um, it says an internationally renowned Premier League footballer has been arrested on suspicion of R.A.P.E. the Telegraph has reported that the player who is in his late 20s was arrested in North London the unnamed player is currently in custody and is being questioned over an alleged attack which is said to have taken place last month Scotland Yard has confirmed confirmed in a statement to the Telegraph that the player has been taken into custody on Monday. On 4th of July, which was yesterday, um, an, an allegation of RAPE of a woman in her 20s was, was reported to police and the police acted. Apparently, it was alleged that it happened in June 2022 and that the man was arrested at an address in Barnet on suspicion of RAPE and taken into custody where he remains. Inquiries into the circumstances are ongoing. So they've contacted the players club who have declined to comment on the arrest. And the last piece, which is that he was due to feature in this country at the World Cup. So this is a player in his late 20s, which was due to feature in his country at the World Cup. So it's a, t it's a country at the World Cup. And then there was another article dropped this morning with some more information to kind of like narrow things down in terms of who it could really be. So that they provided further details on the allegations and that it is claimed that he was arrested at 3 a.m. on Monday after six police cars arrived at his mansion in an early morning swoop, so a mansion in Barnet. The player described in the report as one of the best of his Premier League side, which was taken into custody after a woman accused him of um, RAPE um, 
during a holiday in the Mediterranean. The woman, who is also in her 20s, is said to have shown police photos of bruising after reporting the alleged attack, which she claimed took place during a holiday with the player last month. The alleged victim fled the five-star resort she was staying at with the footballer and flew home. She spoke to the police on her return to the UK and made a full statement at a police station on Sunday, showing detectives photos that she claimed showed bruising on her body after the alleged attack. And the player is now set to miss the preseason tour. So we're going to probably see very soon that a player is missing. And if it's a Premier League side in his late 20s, it kind of does narrow things down to some players that you may think it could be. And as of right now, no one actually really knows for sure who it really could be. Like people are throwing names about, which I think is dangerous. It's dangerous because you can't just throw names around like this uh, without really knowing. That's why, like, you know, you kind of want to wait like two, three, four weeks. But this is what we know right now. Now. I guess the question is, do you think that this is happening more nowadays or do you think that it's being reported more? I, I kind of feel like it could be the latter. With the um, victim or I guess alleged victim, I guess I got to say that legally um, in this current situation that it's um, pictures of bruising um, on her which was um, alleged from the attack. It's just sickening because of two things as well because like I, I know some footballers and like you know, this just puts like a really, really bad like look onto just footballers in general. And you know, it's like anything, like it's like a fan base, right? Like a fan base, like there's always like a few idiots in a fan base. Now, of course, this is like really serious. So of course, like it is a really bad, bad look. But you know, out of the entire fan base, in terms of an entire collection of people, which is footballers, a collection of people, you know, um, a bunch of absolute fucking wrong guns. I, I noticed as well in the last like, week or two. There's been a lot of people on about um, Greenwood as well, which that case is still ongoing. Of course, there's no point doing a video on that because like there's nothing new. And as I said in my last video about it with Greenwood, I kind of feel like there'd be nothing new about that case at all for the next potentially year. You know, like in cases this serious, which the, the consequences are so high that they will take as long as they possibly can to, if you know what is the truth, to, to delay it or to make sure that, you know, they have absolutely everything ready to go to prove his innocence. You know, if he's innocent or if he's not innocent, they'll need to take as much time as they can to potentially try to find um, whatever verdict they can try and take here. I'm seeing some Man U fans on Twitter, which, by the way, of course, like, some Man U fans on Twitter doesn't represent the entire fan base, of course, as well. But I'm seeing, like, a couple of, like, your know, trends as well. Like, like, Greenwood was trending, like... I think like two weeks ago because like still some news that maybe like he's been released from bail and like people like oh now he's back because I think someone noticed that Greenwood, Greenwood was still on the Manchester United website which he always has been because technically he is still contracted by the club because it, legally Man United cannot sack him and like remove him from you know his contract without fully knowing legally you know, is he guilty or not guilty? Because let's say if he is found as not guilty, then Greenwood can sue Man United, incredibly so, um, in return for doing that and jumping the gun. So that's why he's still contracted by Manchester United. So yeah, tell me your thoughts on this. Do you guys think that this is um, happening more or do you think it's just being reported more? And in terms of how can we really counteract with this, I feel like really the, the only thing you could do is really with, you know, education, education from any young footballer at a young age to continue their education, um, you know, do a degree in, you know, anything that they desire almost, but just go through life, same as me and you, and even if they're like a baller and they're like, they're the top level Premier League club and they're earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a week, you know, the, the top, top, like 17, 18, 19 year old footballers, they still need to be, you know, on the ground, and some are, and some are, but some maybe not as well, some may get caught up, you know, caught up and carried away with it, so it's a tough debate because like it is so emotionally charged but um, give me your thoughts on it and that is an update with what's happening right now and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video so with that said stay safe and peace out boys